Hi, this is Barry. I'm going to talk about Secure Application Cloud. This is a comprehensive product that protects containers, Kubernetes, um, serverless, service mesh, and API security in one single platform. I've talked about application security and all of the Cisco solutions. If you haven't seen that video, I strongly suggest that you go through that video. Uh, just click on the top right and it will take you right there. This is a breakdown into Secure Application Cloud specifically. We can access it through securecn.cisco.com and you could sign up for a free account or you can log in through SecureX. Let's log in. That's going to take us into the dashboard. This product is actually free for up to five nodes. As you can see, I'm consuming three right now, one cluster. That's a free account. The dashboard is an overview of what's going on in our environment. It gives us security risks when it comes to either pods or APIs. It shows us uh, what is high risk and what is low risk. Also give us all the vulnerabilities uh, that we see and we can do a quick scan for details of vulnerabilities as well. And also permission issues, whether there are risks with maybe too much permission and who the owners are. And also there is a breakdown of different events over time, as well as connections over time and pods. And as you can see, I'm protecting five namespaces right now and total of 27 protected pods. Another view that I like the most is actually the K8 shield. It's a useful view that talks about all the different risks right now that we're looking at giving you details and reference into the MITRE attack framework. So this makes it really easy for the security folks to understand what is the context of this risks. You can also generate a report and it will look kind of like this is a PDF report. It has all the details broken down with the summary page as well as all the different details. Each of these information we could click on them and you can see let's say for example privilege escalation is enabled and it shows us the context what's the threat about and all the affected uh, elements are listed here as well as mitigation steps. Basically one click repair and it's going to take you through the steps and some of these risks is just one click to repair. Some of these has a few clicks uh, but it's very easy to mitigate. Another view is Navigator. This gives us a very detailed view of all the communications among the containers. It's uh, Let's expand the view and that's going to show us all the details of how the containers are talking to one another and you you can see all the different containers or groups of containers let's say for example this guy is actually a group of two hosts but they share the same function you can see the breakdown of whether there are concerns or risks that's associated to these containers and you can also see that there are connections, whether those are safe as well. Some are insecure, some are encrypted. And you could also see if there are warnings detected uh, and sometimes if a API call or a connection was denied, you could see that from here as well, it will show up. And there's another view uh, that I like a lot is when it comes to the for the operation folks, we could also give you a view of the functions with namespaces, right, and all the connections among all of these uh, different containers and destinations. It's uh, easier to understand view for operations guys, and you can see all the ports that they're connecting to, a little bit more detail and a little bit more context. The next step is CICD because uh, Secure Application Cloud has a native integration with CICD pipeline and it's showing us a ton of details when it comes to image verification. Like as you can see, all the different images that we're using in this environment, their version and whether they have any vulnerabilities associated and their current status. And it also breaks down into um, CI and CD as well as plugins. Uh, there are plugins that we support IDE into Visual Studio Code or CD plugins for Helm and uh, Terraform and CI plugins for uh, Docker, Jenkins, and so on. Another one is the runtime page show you the activity in your uh, environment. 
It shows uh, workloads and all of their security threats that's involved. And it can show you if there are API risks and it will show you the status of all of these workloads. Uh, when did they start and whether there are any rules that's associated to it, whether workload has any risk associated, what are the rules that's applied to it and what are the rule um, actions and whether there are any violations, right? So it will all show up here. And you could also see connection in runtime as well. So it will show all the different connection that happened. And you can see only violations in terms of connections. And also there is a event view that shows you all the different events and namespace view. So that's all the runtime information. And there's also a specific API page that displays all the internal API calls whether there are any security findings and with uh, details as well. And also there is um, a specific view for just external APIs. Also, when it comes to uh, deployments, of course, this is the first thing that we do when we deploy secure application into your containerized application. We show you all the clusters that we manage, right? And um, all the registries and environments and all the information here. And policy is where we manage all the policies. So this is when it comes to deployment rules. And also there are uh, connection rules that uh, what do we allow and what do we deny? And you can modify the default rule. So right now, as you can see, is uh, by default allow everything. And you can specifically deny th uh, connections. So with all of these policies, we have a policy advisor uh, basically shows up on the top right that give you this is from the system itself by looking at all the connections, all the different suggestions. For example, it's suggesting that we allow these connections. If I want to allow all of them, just select all and apply selected. Uh, very easy. So you don't have to create policies manually yourself. And also cluster event rules and pod standards. All of these, as you can see, we have pod standard advisor as well, um, and CICD and API policies. When it comes to risks, you can do runtime scans as well as it's we're breaking down all the permission issues that show you what is high risk uh, what is medium risk and all of those details and you can go uh, into specific risk management as well this is where you sometimes have to ignore some risks and then you can configure it here so that's a quick overview of secure application cloud i hope you find it helpful thank you